As far as Islamic art goes, the options are endless, and Islamic calligraphy in particular isn't just popular, but it's a beautiful way to be expressive with the words of the Qur'an. Now, our next guest is all too familiar with this and has her own collection of paintings with an added sparkle, and we're not joking. Welcome to Living the Life, Fahmida Ashik. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Now, your work has indeed got a great sparkle to it. We've been looking at your pictures here in the green room Lots before the green. show. Amazing. Sure, and is it, I, you know, that's one word I can't say. It's Swarovski? 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 It's Swarovski. 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 Thank you, Chris. Yeah. So, so, blingy crystals. Blingy crystals. Blingy absolutely. crystals. So, where did you get the idea from? Because we've seen calligraphy for many years and we've had quite a few calligraphers on the show, actually. But we haven't had one that's mixed calligraphy with bling. Bling. Well, I'm a girl and I like my bling. So I like diamonds, anything sparkly. I hope my husband's listening. Yeah, <laughs> so anything sparkly. So that's basically, it was it was something that I love. I think sparkle and Swarovski crystals and diamonds and everything are so beautiful. Their cuts and everything are just amazing. And it's just stunning. So that's why it I is. use them, yeah. How'd you get started? Because this is not your first love. I believe your first love is, <laughs> apart from your husband, <laughs> is, is uh, law. I did law. I did law for many years and then I had a little baby. And oh, sure. uh, so um, I've been doing art all my life, um, but I stopped when I started my legal career. And this just happened by mistake one day. Uh, we had a blank wall at home, which I thought I'd sort out because it was awful and then my husband said I think you've got something and yeah. so he pushed me and so I started doing this and um and alhamdulillah, it's been nearly two and a half years now and it's just grown. So, but how did you start? It wasn't, you didn't jump straight to this. What was it that you started with? Is it just it painting? Was, it was a carving, actually. I, uh, I carved out Bismillah Rahman Rahim for the wall and it was, I don't actually know how I did it, but I, I, I had studied a little bit of calligraphy before that. So, um, and I just did this carving and it was just, I know it sounds it random, but it just worked and it was just out of the blue. So I mean, it echoes... Anish, what you were saying earlier, I mean, you graduated in maths, you graduated as a lawyer. You're now making chocolate, you're making Swarovski art calligraphy. Swarovski. It's about it's about passion, Swarovski. Uh, forget it. Blingy, <laughs> blingy, blingy crystal crystals. art. Blingy. I mean, it comes down to passion, doesn't it? I mean, you were saying that. It does come down to passion, doing something you're passionate about. Yeah. I would have thought it would be the other way around, to be honest. Well, I would have thought you would have been doing the chocolate. <laughs> I can't do art to save my life. Oh, yeah. Were you not artistic? No, not at all. But there is a lot of art in, in, in your chocolate. That is an art, yeah. It happens. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, the pieces that you brought today, Fahmida, tell us a little bit about them. We're going to get some shots um, of them now. I mean, starting the one we've got over there, the black with the silver crystal, that's it's on our screen now. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, that one has uh, 9,500 uh, uh, Swarovski crystals. And that's uh, this, these are some of the Diamond in the Rough collections I have here. And um, uh, this is uh, something that I'd made for uh, a, a client who wanted uh, something uh, with Bismillah Rahman Rahim and uh, I went to her house and then I designed it for her specifically so to go with all of her furniture her, everything that was around for her and uh, 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 it was something that Bismillah Rahman Rahim was something that obviously yeah. meant something to her and so I incorporated it with my own inspiration. Now what our camera doesn't show there because we can't show the scale is the size of it I mean it's about what is that about two and a half foot square? Uh, that three is three foot square, something it, like yeah, that. Yeah, they're about yeah seventy eight. Uh, no, sorry, that one's ninety eight centimeters, just under a meter. So just under a meter square. Yeah. So it's a big piece of art, and yeah. you've got nine thousand crystals in there. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And how do you go? How does the process start for you? How do you go about? For me, starting that piece. Um, it's a story. It's about the ayat or the verse or what I'm trying to do, or what I'm trying to achieve. For me, that was diamond in the rough. So mm -hmm. the verse of Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim is something that we start everything with. So it was something that I had to bring out. So to bring out of the rough almost. So for me, it was the story and how I was going to illustrate that. Mm -hmm. So that's how I came up with the idea of... So what do you do? You just paint it. What have you used no. to do in terms of the black and the no, red, etc.? There's et a huge amount of work. There's a base that's made. There's a calligraphy that's uh, mm -hmm. first drafted. And then I uh, have to make a base. You can't just stick on a whole load of crystals on a, on a, on a canvas. Awfully big so there's a lot of uh, work involved. So you mm -hmm. make the base, uh, you make the calligraphy, all the measurements. There's a lot of maths involved as well. So um, uh, you do the base and then you do all the gritting at the back and there's sand blasted. There's about wow. 15 layers on there, which you won't be able to tell. 15 layers? Yeah, oh, yeah. just you, to get the, the grit. Do you grit. know what was funny there? When you said there's a lot of maths involved, <laughs> his ears pricked up over there. The mathematician <laughs> chocolatier, his ears suddenly pricked up in maths. Oh, maths. Yeah. Well, listen, we're going to come back yeah. and talk about my favourite piece in a little while, which has got... 20,000 crystals or something on it. 23,000. 23,000. 23, we'll come back and talk 20, about that. But first, we want for a discount. <laughs> well, it. time now for another quick break. That's right. There's still plenty more to come on tonight's Living the Life. We'll see you shortly.